Hello guys, welcome to your YouTube channel High Speed Boat Design. Today we are going to discuss about the capacitors. In this tutorial we are going to discuss about the basics of capacitors. Uh, we will talk about the resonance curve and we will help you to understand about the selection of capacitors for a PCB design. This is the table of content. First of all, we are going to look into the introduction to capacitors. Then we are going to see their capacitive reactance and the resonance curve or the resonance frequency curve. And then we'll help you and we'll provide few of the details about the selection of capacitor for a PCB board. So let us see the introduction to capacitors. So capacitor is an electronic component that stores electric charge. Let us take an example of a parallel plate capacitor where in plate 1 and there are two plates plate 1 and plate 2 so if plate 1 is charged with positive q like n n number of positive q's like positive charge and uh, n number of negative q or negative q charges are supplied to the p2 the parallel plate 2 then we can say this whole capacitor that that has been included in p1 and p2 is charged by a charge q as we have mentioned here, if positive charge in the total charge plus Q are deposited on one of the conductors and equal amount of negative charge minus Q is deposited on the second conductor, the capacitor is said to have a charge Q. As you can see here, in the diagram A, we have explained about how does a parallel plate capacitor look like. This is conductor 1 and the other one is the conductor 2. The other one is conductor 2. So the conductor 2 is charged with plus positive Q and the conductor 1 is charged with negative Q and the whole capacitor is having a charge of Q. So if we see a parallel plate capacitor in this diagram you can notice the distance between the two parallel plates are D. D is the distance and VA is the potential at A and VB is the potential at plate B. And there is an electric field which has been created between the two parallel plates. If you see the formula for capacitance, so capacitance, what is, first of all, we'll see what is capacitance. Capacitance is the property with which the capacitance stores charges. The capacitor stores charges. So capacitor is a component, is a component. And if we talk about capacitance, capacitance, it's a property. The formula for the capacitance of a parallel plate conductor or a parallel plate capacitor is this C is equal to epsilon A by D where A is the area area of the of the play parallel plates and D is the distance between the parallel plates. So if I take this example over here plate A plate B so area of each plate is the A and uh, the distance between A and B is T and epsilon is the permittivity of the capacitor's dielectric material. If we take an example of a parallel plate capacitor, in this parallel plate capacitor between the plates there is a material which has been added. We call it as dielectric material. Dielectric material. And if we talk about the dielectric material, so dielectric material, there is a property of permittivity, which is denoted by epsilon. So this particular property is uh, the property of the dielectric material, which is between the parallel plates. Now let us focus on the series resonance curve. So as this is a bit of a formulation explanation. So if we take an example of a resistor, inductor and a capacitor all the three component has all the three properties what are all the three properties a resistance will definitely have resistance a resistor has definitely have a resistance it will have capacitive reactance and it will definitely have inductive reactance so these are and all together we call them as impedance you might have heard this word term called impedance. So whenever we talk about impedance, we are talking about the property of RLC, the resistive property of all the three RLC. And similarly, like resistor, inductor also has 
resistance, capacitive reactance, and inductive reactance. Inductive reactance. And similarly, if we take an example of a capacitor, here also all the three properties will be there resistance, capacitive inductance, and inductive reactance. Pardon for that capacitive reactance. That was capacitive reactance. How we are going to denote them? So, as you can see in this plot here, Xe is the capacitive reactance, Xl is the inductive reactance. Okay, so as the frequency increases, the value of Xe keep on decreasing and the value of Xl keep on increasing. How is it happening? Okay, let me explain you. So the formula for Xe is 1 upon 2 pi Fc. 1 upon 2 pi Fc, where F is the frequency and C is the capacitance value. So as, as by this example, we can see Xe is inversely proportional to the frequency. So as the frequency increases, the value of Xe will keep on reducing. So as you can see in this diagram, it starts from zero frequency and the frequency increases. The graph comes down because the capacitive reactance, uh, capacitive reactance is keep on decreasing. Similarly, if we talk about the Xl, Xl is 2 pi Fl, 2 pi Fl. So, Xl is directly proportional to the frequency. So, the Xl component keep on increasing. So, at a point, at a frequency where both Xl and Xc are equal to each other, both Xl and Xc are equal to each other, that frequency is known as the resonance frequency. Okay, the frequency at which the inductive and capacitive reactants are equal to each other is known as resonance frequency, as you can see here. So, after the resonance frequency, the capacitor itself shows the inductive reactance as a very high value. So, after this series, uh, series resonance frequency, the capacitor starts acting as an inductor. So, the inductive property, as I already told, it has all the capacitive, inductive and resistive properties. So the inductive properties will keep on increasing and here as you can see Xl is greater than Xe and when Xl is greater than Xe the graph will go up. So if I take, if I just draw this graph again, so it keeps on coming like this and the frequency, the knee frequency is known as the resonance frequency. Resonance frequency. Here Xl is greater than Xe and at resonance frequency Xl is equal to Xe and before this Xe is greater than Xl. So this is the basic funda behind the series resonance curve. So why this series resonance curve is important? So series resonance curve is important because during the component selection phase the capacitors can be selected on the basis of these values. This was a short video tutorial to explain about the capacitance, its property of XC, XL and the resistive property. It, this, in this video we have seen what is impedance and we know the basics about impedance. So impedance is basically the addition of XC, XL and R, the resistance. And when all the three are added, then we get a value of impedance here in a particular component. In the next tutorial, we are going to discuss about the selection of a capacitor for a PCB design. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you feel it useful, please share it with others. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will help us to bring you more valuable video tutorials. Comment down below if you want a video series on a particular topic related to high-speed board design, signal integrity and power integrity. Thank you and have a nice day.